Yo, Atomic, what up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, so, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little tired. Uh, I haven't got much sleep tonight, but uh, I woke up early. It's a bit of an ice storm getting ready to start. And uh, I thought, eh, what the heck. Before it gets too bad and maybe knocks out the power, let's get on and do some uh, 1v1 ranked duels. Now, this is something I've asked for for a very long time. Uh, I've asked the developers personally, I was like, hey guys, if we could ever get a 1v1 ranked duels like thing, I would, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, so we get a, several weeks of 1v1 duels, if you didn't know. Um, so I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm so used to being focused by everybody that uh, to put somebody in a cage with me, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Now, my goals for these ranked seasons is straightforward and simple. I'm going to try to get through these ranked duels using American battleships. Now, I know that these are not necessarily the, uh, the best option for the, the ranked duels, okay? Um, but, but, I'm confident in my abilities that in a 1v1 situation, I can do this. So, that's the goal, and holy crap, we already got a bunch of people in here. Atomic, Baltimore, Philip, NK, Spark, TD, uh, NRG, Greatest Comrade, Jones, Yafet, uh, Infinite, Zuz, and Ven. Welcome to the stream, guys. You guys get a little bit of an early look at this, because, uh, I don't know if you guys notice, it's 4.30 in the morning, so... Those of you across the pond are probably getting the best best opportunities to A, 1v1 me, and B, watch the stream. So, with that being said, let's get into our first first thought. So, we're going to be using the Arkansas for Tier 3. Um, Wyoming's good as well, but it doesn't get that uh, extra accuracy that you get with the, the Arkansas. Because the Arkansas gets the ability to add uh, this artillery plotting room. It also gets the ability to have other things rather than just like Wyoming, as you can see, only gets the uh, the main batteries mod two or mod one, whatever it is. So uh, that's why I'm going to go with the Arkansas over the Wyoming. It just has better upside. Now, obviously, we're running our William Sims build. A lot of people are like Spartan. If you run this build, you'll be able to have this and this, and that is true. But you also miss out on the extras. Okay. So keep that in mind. Now, obviously, in a 1v1 situation, we are not going to be able to use Will to Rebuild, right? So let's think about exactly what we want to do. We could go with Farsight, which increases the spotting radius of enemy torpedoes, but decreases the number of repair party consumable par uh, charges. That doesn't sound like a very good idea. But fight fire with fire could come in real handy for those times you get up against a kiting cruiser. Okay? So I think that's what we're going to go with. Now, obviously, we're using the same build that we always use. You guys know this. We got the flammable cannoneer, which may be not the best idea. But having that extra range, having that extra accuracy, sure, you got the extra risk of catching fire. Probably not the best. But, uh, you know, do we really want to give up the extra accuracy? Uh, especially at lower tiers, like the accuracy is going to be a thing. Like you need to be able to hit the targets. And at low tiers, the destroyers aren't really that scary. Uh, tier three, you're going to have probably the the scariest destroyers you're going to come up against is probably the Japanese destroyers for obvious reasons. Uh, and that's going to go pretty much the entirety of this thing. Um, later, you'll get into yellow destroyers and so on. But uh, early on, I think we're going to be okay. Um, but marksmanship and reaching out going to be big. Uh, we're going to have to keep our distance sometimes, so that's going to come in handy. I uh, could swap out the extra range because it's going to be sort of, I don't know if it's going to be epicenter or if it's going to be a domination where they put the uh, the caps towards the center of the map either way, uh, but I'm looking at uh, reaching out. Probably not going to be the best thing for us here, so do we go with the extra reload time on our secondaries or do we actually go with emergency specialists and here? I don't think emergency specialist is a good idea either. And um, the reason being that, uh, you know, reducing your damage control party duration by 70% is asking to be set on fire immediately after your damage con cools down really, really quickly. Um, now, we're only going to be in 1v1s. 
<sighs> the only time this is really going to be an issue... I guess it's just going to be one of those... I, I think we do take this. I think we do take this. We're not going to worry about the secondaries too much. But uh, I think we do take the emergency specialist. Being able to use those damage cons sooner is probably going to come in handy. Um, the damage con duration isn't as big a deal here um, because it's a 1v1. So not as likely to catch torpedoes from spots that you're not ready for. Or if you do, it's it's too late anyway. Uh, we are still going to be running Azure Lane Scharnhorst and Paolo de Revel as our commander inspirations though. So keep that in mind. Now again, I am not saying that the American battleships are the best for this uh, ranked battles, okay? I just prefer American battleships over other battleship nations. Um, and I'm American and I like to prove that the Americans are the best. So that's going to be the goal. So if we can get through this entire ranked season and all of the ranked seasons using nothing but American battleships, I feel like we're going to be pretty good. I think we're going to be okay. So let's get into it. First one. Let's go. Multi, how's it going? Citadel City, how's it going? Codename Bogdan, Jones, Nugget, appreciate you. Uh, yeah, I do sleep, but not very much, apparently. Illuminati in here as well. I'm doing good, NRG. Thank you. All right, what do we got? We've got a Nassau. That's not going to be good for him, but let's go. So... With these ranked battles, I have no idea where he's going to spawn. I can only assume he's going to spawn directly across from me. So maybe we start getting the guns on the left side. We're going to push towards the center of the B cap and A cap, that little crossover area. That's going to be huge. Uh, now, obviously, with the American battleships, you got to be careful giving up broadsides. That's pretty much any battleship. But with the American battleships, if you overangle and get caught, they can citadel you right through the cheek. So you got to you got to keep that in mind. Uh, Nassau has really good secondaries. It's guns, not necessarily the greatest. So I feel pretty good in this, this engagement that we're going to be able to do what we need to do. We can keep our distance from the guy, get some base caps, uh, force the guy to come to us, and then kind of... Oh, never mind. There we go. So right off the bat, he's going to fire his guns. Uh, we're going to tank this pretty well if he... Yeah, I mean, that's actually really accurate. And he gets a solid hit. So he strikes first. And by the time I get turned out, he's probably going to strike again. So we're going to take a shot high into the superstructure. And we ricocheted everything. So far, not off to a good start. Not off to a good start at all. Dragon Darko, huh? There we go. That's what we're looking for. Getting those chunks. Okay, so his secondaries are officially kicking off. Go ahead and pump our uh, our brakes here. Now, if he's going to push around towards me, I'm going to use this island to my advantage and get the drop on him. He's not going to be able to stay angled to me well if he wants to push towards me. So we'll see what he's going to do here. Uh, we do have to consider the fact that he's actually in the cap, so he's going to get points, which is not preferable. But I don't know exactly what he's doing. This is where having a plane would come in handy. And we are in range to be spotted. And he's actually pushing right across the bow. Now, the good news for me is I have accurate secondaries. He has more Bismarck-esque secondaries. The Nassau has a lot of them. So we got to be, be wary of that. And this guy at least seems to know what he's doing in terms of keeping himself angled. Not trying to make the uh, the big mistake of coming around the island. Uh, he does have the base cap, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get on the move here. A 
Okay, we got his front gun. He's gonna probably damage con that. Yep. We expected that. But now that he has a weak front gun, we're gonna target that gun with the rest of our guns here. Get the secondaries pumping. Don't ram me, please. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Fucking plebs, man. You... How does that count as a defeat? Because he had more points, right? Okay, so we gotta avoid that bullshit right off the bat. The fucking guy literally rammed us like a pleb. Should have seen it coming. Alright, I see how it's gonna go. I see how it's gonna fucking go. Fucking plebs, man. You never fucking underestimate. I guess it's the right fucking call if you've got the points lead. Because I didn't think about that. That's one thing I didn't fucking think about. So we gotta stop people from getting the fucking points lead at all cost. At all cost. Who are we up against this time? Another Nassau. We know we can take him. So, I'm not too worried there. American secondaries are just better than other countries' secondaries. Like, they're accurate. They hit the fucking target. They cause those fires. Um, whereas, other secondaries that you come up against, they tend to spray everywhere. So, that's why a lot of people, a lot of people are like, Oh, Spartan, I don't know why you like American secondaries. Well, it's because they actually hit the target. They do what they're supposed to do. Uh, he, he didn't set a single fire on us with his secondaries, did he? I don't think he did, but we did. And those are going to be huge. But, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to uh, step up our game. We're going to need to get into the caps and get points because if people are going to fucking ram, I need to have the points lead. Just plain and simple. No idea where he's going to be. Uh, let's go ahead and just turn the guns to the left because I'm going to have to go into the base. Ah, should have had the guns on the left. Oh, never mind. He's on my fucking right. Honestly, starting out with HE wouldn't be a bad idea. Because you can get those early fires. So I think from here on, I think the strategy is going to be to start out with HE already loaded. You can see AP is solid, and he gets a really good salvo there. But uh, you can see our secondaries are going straight at him. His secondaries, not so much. We know he's got a decent reload, so we got to try to get angled out. Just being flat broadside to him is not a good idea. There's our first fire with our secondaries. We're going to punch right at the bow. Look at that damage with the HE. Um, so he's just damage con. We're going to come around the island and do the same thing, except now he's actually getting the base cap from the center as well. Uh, he gets spawned right next to it, and we've kind of kited out. So he's able to stop me from capping this and get his own cap, but he's actually left the base, so that's not going to be good for him. Uh, if he's wanting to chase me, that's not going to go well for him. And I'm definitely not going to let him fucking ram me again. He should be coming around any time here. Oh, the downside is he's going to be able to get his damage con back relatively quickly after we get a fire on him. If we can get a fire on him. 
But he's got to be right here. Maybe he comes around the back side of the island, catches me off guard a little bit, but... Come on. Where are you fucking... Why, why are you hiding? Okay, he's went back into the fucking other base. Okay. It's not a bad play by him. He should have stayed in that base to begin with. But, uh... There's a double fire. He damage cons that immediately. Our secondaries are doing their job. They're resetting him. You can see the secondaries on these things are nasty. Like, Nassau is known for its secondaries, but he's hitting like one shell every once in a while. We're getting multiple shells on target. Come on, I need that fire. This guy's actually winning the fight in terms of HP because I'm just sailing broadside to him. But uh, I need these fires, man. Come on. This man's getting incredibly lucky of damage conning a single fire and not getting reset on fire. And these damn islands are fucking me because every time I get him on or I get a chance to do some damage in terms of fires, he's just able to fucking disappear because of the damn islands. He gets the base cap, so now he's got the advantage there as well. Come on. We got a double fire going. We got that secondary booster. heal he's put out the fires come on got another permanent How does he get that kind of damage through the ass of my ship? Does he overmatch? Keep breaking my damn guns. So there's that. Literally has broken every one of my rear guns. Come on. Damage over time, it do be it do be like that, folks. May not always be glorious, but in a situation like this, it has been the difference maker. Okay, he just damage con. This is actually really fucking close. Woo! Now that's a fucking duel right there. So yeah, I think the goal from now on is going to be start with HE. Uh, there are times where I'm going to be able to use AP maybe, but the HE damage over time is what saved our bacon in that one. Nine fires... We end up pulling that one out. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was sweaty. I kind of like it. All right, now I forget in ranked, like, what does the things mean? Like, isn't there like a way to see the things? I forget. 
I actually forget. Like, isn't there a way to see, like, what each of the, the ribbons mean? Like, I don't remember who's who or what's what, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely something we're going to have to consider here. Uh, I don't think I want to run a booster, so we'll, we'll just keep it up. We'll keep running the HE. Uh, Nugget, the whole goal, like I said, I'm going to try to get through this without using anything but American battleships. Like, that's the goal. Um, hopefully. Now, like I said, they're not necessarily the best choice, but I think we got this. Okay, we're up against a Kaiser this time. That's not too bad. Get a little German battleship. Uh, now again, if it all depends on what the other guy's going to do. If he's going to give me angles and broadside, AP will definitely do the job much quicker. But uh, if he's just going to sail straight at me, bow in, I have no choice to but to use the HE. And then if I get close enough for the secondaries, you guys have already seen what the secondaries are capable of. So, like, it's no joke. Arkansas can do whatever it needs to do. It's, it's turning ability is pretty decent. It's pretty slow because it's an American dreadnought. But, like, I, I feel like I'm pretty confident here. What up, Davy Jones? How's it going? Duel, how's it going? My kind of thing. Welcome to the stream. Shady Ninja in the house. Appreciate you guys dropping by. JP coming in with the five pound. Plebs, gotta love them. Exactly, my dude. BOD Assassin, I see you. Canadian Couscous. Appreciate you guys all dropping in. Hopefully I'm not missing anybody. Kimmy, appreciate you dropping in. Now we gotta do a better job of, of angling and trying not to take so much damage. Uh, the Nassau, I don't remember my Nassau ever being that accurate. Like, that Nassau was incredibly accurate. Not sure where the enemy is, but, uh, they seem to be conceding my cap, so I'll take it. Like, we could literally kite away at this point and win the match. We're not going to, but we could. I'm gonna go grab the other base, too. Fire right off the bat. Got a double fire. He's gonna have to damage con. There's the damage con. That's the perma fire. See if we can get that third. We do have him burning three times. We're gonna go ahead and put out our fire. We need to get angled here. Also, loading AP will be what I do in my next salvo for sure. And we get the fourth fire. One of my guns. Got another fire on it. Just need to avoid getting rammed, even though we have the points lead. Okay, he has put out the fires. To be expected. But you can see what those damage over time numbers do, man. But at this point, as soon as I get loaded, he's done. So. There we go. 53,000 damage. Top of the leaderboard. 
bottom of the leaderboard, middle of the leaderboard, all the things. So yeah, let's battle on. Let's keep it going. Yeah, fight fire with fire is huge. Uh, especially in a 1v1 like this. It means every time, like if he double fires me, okay? If he double fires me and I damage con. While I'm on damage con cooldown, if he gets three fires on me, it automatically extinguishes the fire. Uh, so, and three plus, uh, two fires are bad enough. Three and four fires are death. It's just death. Like, you saw how quickly his health disappeared. And that's with HE. Like, four fires, no joke. Battle starts. Four fires is no joke. Spartan Elite 2022. Morning, Night Fox. How's it going? Brian as well. Raymond. Paul Singleton. Yeah. I mean, what am I doing? I've got cruisers against me this time. Why do I have H? I didn't even look at that. It's literally a phoenix. This poor phoenix is about to have a real bad day. <laughs> didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. That's something I got to pay attention to. I forgot. Like, you got you to gotta pay attention. We could end up with a, a destroyer or a cruiser. We got to play accordingly. We can't just yellow and get ourselves um, obliterated. Now, he, had, he has torpedoes, but... Uh, oh, hello. Well. Hi. How are you? Yep. <laughs> this is going to be a short one, folks. <laughs> this is going to be a short one. Now, obviously, he does have torpedoes. We're going to have to watch that. He is on the backside of an island. We can't get over cocky and rush the man. I say, as this man is fucking crazy. I respect it. But it is definitely not in his best interest to be this crazy. And as soon as he comes around the next island... Damn. See, the thing about him trying to torp me here, if he comes out and tries to torp, he's dead. The torps will never reach me. So he, he's got to hope that I charge him next to the island because that's the only way that he gets torps that can actually hit me. And as long as we keep our distance, he's going to struggle. Now, I'm assuming he's going to try to play Ring Around the Rosie with me. Or keep away, whatever you want to call it. Or he just stays on the back side of the island anticipating where I am. Uh, neither of us have the ability to spot the other until. So... If he's dumb, he's still going to be here. If he's smart, he'll be over here trying to shadow and stay along the island. What up, Panda? How's it going? And uh, unfortunately for him, he has chosen wrong. can't quite get the front guns. I was hoping to get the front guns around. Yeah, he's literally just going to play keep away. I'm assuming torpedoes are en route. So we're going to turn in, slow down. To port. Actually, he's he launched them way behind, so we'll just keep it going. And he thinks that I, I shot all my guns for some reason. He was wrong. So, uh, he, he thought that I fired my guns at him, and he was ready to go, but, uh, unfortunately for him, that was not the case. So, there we go. Welcome to Ranked Battles Duels, my dude. What up, Will Schooley? Yeah, I remember you, my dude.
how is that even fair? I mean, that's the that's the challenge. Like, if you go with a cruiser, which is probably your best bet, maybe not at low tiers. Uh, what are we up against? A Wyoming. All right, up against another Wyoming. Okay, we got an even duel. Now we know that he's going to spawn directly across from us. This is where we start to learn the spawn points. Uh, but uh, anyway, like when you're choosing your ship, you got to understand there's a, there's a upside and a downside to everything. Cruisers are the middle of the road. They are very good against destroyers. Mm, they can handle themselves against battleships, but you can't get in a 1v1 at three kilometers with a battleship in a, in a cruiser. It's not going to end in your favor at all. Uh, he tried to get the torpedoes. He actually launched them behind me, which could have worked had I slowed down a little sooner. But uh, it didn't end up working in this case. Go ahead and start the fires. Get turned in. Immediately got a fire. You'll love to see it. He's... Also gets a fire on his first shot, so we're on even terms so far. Uh, we hit a superstructure and got a fire. Looks like he's running the skill that limits the amount of fires, because he's got two fires burning, even though it's only one. Let's see if we can't set a fire on the bow. We did get the fire on the bow. He's going to damage con that, most likely. There's our second fire, so we damage con that. We trigger our first heal. Problem solved, sir. Didn't get the fire there. I would have loved to have gotten that fire. We're going to turn bow in. He did use armor piercing, so I was I was right. I was expecting it. So there you go. He's almost in range for the secondaries to start doing their thing. How are we not getting another fire? This is going to hurt. If he gets a full broadside into me right here, this could be brutal. He might remove us. Okay. It was a good hit. It was a good hit. I respect it. We do have him on fire again with the secondaries. I hate these fucking islands, man. There we go. And that's why you don't rush shots, folks. That's exactly why you don't rush the shot. You ain't take your time, aim the shot, make it count. Please get a fire on them, secondaries. I would much appreciate it. We're angled away decently. If he goes through my rear cheek, he could do some damage. But he's not. He's shooting up towards the front, which is the wrong call here. But uh, that should be the end of him. So. There you have it, folks. Take your time. Aim your shots. Make sure you know your enemies. Comes in real handy. Comes in real handy. Use the Dougie. 
yeah, it's 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 good, man. Uh, any of the French cruisers are going to be really good because they have torpedoes. They have good HE, good AP against other cruisers. Like cruisers are solid, but again, if you get put up against a battleship, you better be on point, or you're going to have a bad time. That's uh, a Nassau, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to HE. Get this party started. General quarters. Cruisers are viable, but you got to know what you're doing. If you get put up against a battleship, you're going to have a rough time. You've got to keep your distance. You've got to burn them down. They have, they actually, a battleship has the, the advantage in a battleship versus cruiser duel because the cruiser can't get close and the battleship can capture the bases. It's one of the few times where the, the script kind of gets flipped. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try to get in and, and get this guy started on fire and, and not allow him to dictate the engagements here. We already know the Nassau is a solid choice for this. Solid choice. Enemy force detected. Oh, man, if I had AP loaded right now. Okay, there's one fire. Okay. So we've got a permanent fire on him. I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to armor piercing here, and then I'm going to double back. Well, shit. we go pretty straightforward that time switching over to ap ended up being a pretty good one he was not ready for it gave us the advantage again all the fucking islands are obnoxious man i really wish they would get rid of those islands give us a nice little uh you know chance to maneuver our battleships like when you got all these damn islands around we can't stay angled to one another What up, Paratus? Welcome. Yeah, I'm a little out of my mind. I woke up early and uh, decided to get on. So we got an Ishizuki. That's a battle cruiser. I'm going to keep the AP loaded in this one. Uh, I'm not too worried about him. He doesn't have the greatest armor. He is fast, so he's got that advantage. Um, but other than that, like I have the advantage, so I'm going to press the advantage pretty hard. I'm going to press the advantage pretty hard. He is fast, but other than that...
What up, Roy? How's it going? Michael? Haas in the chat. Afro King? Ninja Sniper? Reapers? Tom Plays? Trab? C. Gherkin? Junior? Or JR? Appreciate everybody dropping by. I know it's early morning. Uh, figure if I did if I get this in early, I figure it gives you guys across the pond a chance to check out a stream. Um, you know, plus like I said, I literally just woke up in the middle of the night, so I was like, screw it, let's go ahead and jump on ranked battles, do a little duels, get our blood pumping, show off for the red-blooded Americans. Oh. All right, we've got Ishizuki spotted, and he's not even fucking worth looking at us. Interesting. This man disconnect or what? Yeah, you can see we're going to chunk this man. He's got no chance. Oh, he's moving. He woke up, boys. Critically damaged. Dude, our secondaries are shredding this man. And it goes. What up, Jones? 12.07 p.m. in Finland. Appreciate you dropping in. 11.07 in Italia. Thank you, Lucio. This is what I love about my channel. Just seeing you guys from all over the all over the place, man. Anthony Strong, how's it going? Working nights in Manchester. Very nice. All right, what do we got? We got a Wyoming. Okay, I'm going to actually use AP uh, primarily in this fight. I know that I should start out the, the fight with HE, potentially get those fires early. Uh, but I think I can catch this guy. If we can catch a guy early sideways, like that can completely change the fight from there on out. So let's go ahead and lock our guns, get them into the right place. Yeah, Velo, we've only lost the one so far, and that was due to uh, him getting a base cap and then ramming me. So, you know, it is it, it was a good play by him, I guess, if he knew that was going to get him the win. But uh, honestly, it's just a bad play by me. I should have known better. I, I should have known he was going to ram me. I should have avoided it. But we haven't made that same mistake twice. We've, we've only done it once. So we'll just chalk that up to, you know, first game out of the gate. 
It happens. We'll go ahead and damage con a single fire. Not the, the brightest fire. idea in the world, but by the time he gets reloaded, we'll be behind the island. He's not going to be able to get another fire on us. We should be able to get another shot here. And... You can see our damage con cooldown is only like 30 or like 40 seconds or something like that. So by the time we get around this island, I'm going to have my damage con back. So that's damage conning that single fire was actually a good play right off the bat. Wouldn't normally recommend damage conning a single fire, but if you know you're going to be disengaging, like it's actually a good play. Now he's going to be loaded again, so we don't want to take a full broadside from the man. Uh, again, if he uses HE, not the end of the world, we'll have our damage con back. But he should be right here in this gap. And if he loads AP, I don't want to get caught broadside. I want to be at least angled a little bit. Okay. Okay. See out here? Didn't think he was that fast. Is he just sitting behind that island? Oh, he's 100% right here. All right, well, here's that cheek that I was talking about. The ship is on fire. Let the secondaries do what they're going to do. Know your enemies, boys. Know your enemies. And down he goes. That was uh, quick, easy, and decisive. I like it. Yeah, I mean, most of the guys that we're going up against, though, are, are gray, I think. So they don't understand they just don't understand. Um, but that's the cheek that I was telling you guys about. If you're over-angled in American battleships and you give up that front side plating, like you can absolutely be death struck right through that side plating. Been there, done it. I've also done it to a lot of people. Kaiser against us. Um, I think I'm going to keep the AP loaded initially and see what happens. Yo, Thomas, appreciate you dropping in. You're so happy you get to watch a live stream finally. I appreciate you. Also, Amol with the pow pow, exactly. Yeah, Vacta, I mean, he didn't really have much opportunity to change tactic. He was stopped. That's that's something you cannot do. That's the propulsion mod, this is why I don't take propulsion mod, because I'm always moving. Uh, mobility and being able to, to do the dreadnought shuffle is huge. Okay, there's the Kaiser. Friggin' breaks my gun right off the bat. So I think we both had roughly the same exchange there, both of us getting about 3k. Uh, he's swinging out wide, which is actually good for me. That means he's anticipating a open water engagement, or he wants an open water engagement. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch over to HE, get this get this party going. He's angled really, really well, and I can't really do much about it. So we'll switch over to the HE. 
Uh, he's reloading faster than us, too, it seems. So we've got to try to take that into consideration. Duels can be a game of patience, guys. There you can see he's not doing much to us. Of course, the one time that I go to uh, use HE, he stays broadside. If I'd had AP loaded here, I could have blapped him. But uh, not getting the RNG with the fires, unfortunately. And then we just missed. It do be like that. It's a nasty chunk on him. Can we get a fire, please? Okay, there's our fire. He damage cons that immediately. Interesting. Dude, come on. The American superstructure... Biting me right in the ass here. Go ahead and start the secondaries. Insta fire. That's what I'm talking about with these American secondaries. They don't play around. They're accurate. All right, we know this guy can reload faster than us. So we want to be angled. Let him make the mistake. Come on. Okay, this guy seems to be patient, so I'll give him that. Looks like we're about to do a drive-by. We're gonna get angled. The on fire. And then when you do the drive-by, you slip out the back door, you turn out to angle yourself against the person that you do. And that's exactly what you're expecting. He just knocked out three guns with one shot. Come on now. Come on now. That's a little rough. And GG German. Goodbye. Textbook, baby. Textbook. Uh, if you ram and it's heads up, like if nobody has any points other than what you start with, if you ram, it's a draw. Uh, if you if you both die, obviously. If one person is running die hard and they live, guess what? You die. Um, so you take that risk. But if you have a cap. If you have a cap and you've accrued points and you ram at that point, you can actually win as we saw in the first match. So, uh, unfortunate, but that's our only loss. But yeah, they just another, uh, dominating performance. The guy actually played really well until the drive-by. He planned for the drive-by, but he didn't get his guns turned in time. And I was just able to go straight past him and I had my guns turned. So I took huge damage off of him. He didn't do a thing to me. So got to get those turrets rotated, fellas. And do not try to aim down sights when you're doing a drive-by. It will fuck you over every time. All right, we got a Nassau, so HE coming in. No idea where he's going to spawn on this map, so there's that. We're just going to go right at the overlap, so we'll figure out where he's at. I'm going to assume he spawns directly across from us. This is a kind of a big map. I love 1v1s, man. I live for this shit. 
Like, if I can get into a fight with just about anybody, like, it, and especially those sweaty fights. We've had a couple sweaty fights, especially with a Nassau. So, like, you get into those sweaty fights, that's so much fun. When it comes down to a couple hundred hit points and one decision changed, like, like if you were able to get a fire out or whatever, like, or if you switch to AP at the right time and you got a shot that, that turns the, the freaking battle, like, that's huge. Like, this is, this is fun for me. Like, I enjoy the hell out of this. Okay, there's the Nassau, so he is exactly where we thought. Go ahead and get that gun started. It's awful dispersion. We completely missed him, and he gets 4,000, 5,000 damage off of us. Ouch. Okay, we got the fire. He damaged Condit. We're going to give him a couple of seconds here. There's a perma fire. I think that's a superstructure fire, so we're going to go for the bow here. remember the Nassau being as accurate as they've been so far today, but uh, more power to them. We're unable to knock out any of the fucking, damn it. Couldn't slip, couldn't slip it through. God, he finally missed a shot. There we go. That helps. Dude, there's fucking islands! You see what I mean about these islands fucking over a battleship? Like, you can't fucking maneuver your ship. ship I'm trying to stay angled, but it's getting me fucked over. Problem solved, sir. I might lose this fight here unless this guy makes a really stupid mistake. Trigger a heal. There's nothing I can do there. Hitting that fucking island fucked me over. GG's. GG's, my dude. Hitting that island really fucked me. For real. But, uh, yeah, that was a gray, too. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing to lose that fight. Fucking island, man. The islands. I just, you put me on a fucking ocean map so I can maneuver my ship without having to worry about running into all these fucking islands. Why do we need 30 islands in a fucking map when a 1v1 duel? Just give me a fucking ocean map and let us duel. So we can move our ships as we want. Instead of fucking have to run into all the fucking islands. So obnoxious. It's alright though. That's only our second loss. It's only our second loss. We got this. Draws count as losses for both players, by the way. So, like, if you think that taking a draw is going to keep you from losing a star, you're wrong. Yeah, I got rammed in the first match, and he actually had a base cap, which meant he won. So, uh, it was unfortunate. Also, uh, hi, Blimp. Hi, Bombers. Never noticed that before. What are we up against? Oh my god, we're up against a fucking destroyer. God dang it!
It's a V-172, so it's going to be fast, and it has a shit ton of fucking torpedo launchers. And they reload quickly. Damn it. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, if it wasn't for me running into the island, I win that fight, guaranteed. But I fucked up, I ran into the island, I couldn't keep myself angled to him. Oh, damn. This guy's got a fucking terrible concealment. I say terrible, it's 4.7 kilometers away. Should have had HE loaded, but I didn't realize it was a destroyer until it was too late. So he's using the... He's using the freaking uh, smoke screen to, to try to not be spotted by me. But he's not able to spot me either. Smoke screens work both ways. He does have me located. And even if I don't have HE loaded, I'm going to be able to blap him with AP and get another reload and kill him. So... At, at worst, it's a two-shot kill for me. So having AP isn't the worst thing. You just don't normally prefer to have AP. There he is. There you go. Secondary booster activated. Look at that shit. Get fucked. <laughs> Tell me again how the American secondaries aren't better. Just, they're, they're perfect, man. They're fucking accurate as hell. This ain't a secondary build. This is a dispersion build fucking battleship. And we just blapped that man. He didn't have a chance. Didn't have a chance. Morning, Zach. How's it going? Pro Pilot coming in with a two pound. Played seven rounds of this crap. Five uh, tried ramming. Well, I mean, if you know they're going to ram, you have to play against that. But uh, just, you know, try to get into the cap early. And then uh, kite out away from them if you can. But we up against that's a NASA, so let's get the HE. Uh, what map is this? Northern Waters. Oh, it is Northern Waters. God, the map looks so weird. Is mines coming back to buy? I don't know. They usually, at some point down the road, decide to re-release ships. So, probably. But, uh, I don't know. Campaign ships, it's a, a test. You never know. It may come as a global XP ship at some point. Who knows? Yeah, DJ, the, Na the Nassau is known for its secondaries. I have never seen Nassau's as accurate as the ones that I've seen today. Like, I swear to God, these things have been the most accurate Nassau's I've ever seen. Every time we fought them. And they've definitely been the most difficult ship to take out so far. Um, they've been the only thing to kill me. So there's that. But one was a ram. I would have won that fight if he hadn't rammed. But uh, that was my own stupidity again. Running into islands gets me killed. Like I said, if you lose your mobility, you're dead. You have to have the ability to be moving and, and be able to angle properly. So you've got to you gotta plot a course through these fucking islands that doesn't end with your swift removal from the match. I have no idea where he's going to spawn at. I'm assuming he spawned directly across from me, roughly. The fact that neither of us is spotted is kind of rough. He's behind an island somewhere. He's in the B cap. So he must be behind this island. Alright, we're going to try to skirt the edge of this cap and go over towards the A cap. That way we can try to get that. Also, I don't want to go into these islands. Again, trying to get ourselves into trouble. I'm assuming he's like right here. Enemy force sighted on the oh, he's actually right here. Okay.
Insta fire. Let's go for the bow fire. Double fire. Get those secondaries churning away. He can't use his secondaries very well because he's bow on. I am basically broadside, which is not where you want to be, but could be worse. Can't believe my secondaries haven't started another fire. Come on, boys. Give me that fire. Okay, getting ready for round number two. These, these Nassau's have been so damn accurate. It's actually ridiculous. I wish I got this kind of accuracy out of my Nassau. I might use it more. And we're just not getting fires. Like, I don't get it. I honestly don't understand it. We're going to switch over to AP. We're not getting any fires. We need to be doing some damage. He gets a fire with his secondaries. Of course he does. Ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. I'm hoping that us being broadside for so long and firing AP or HE has kind of gotten him to relax. You can see he's over angling. We're able to return the tide here. And he actually shot HE at us. We have not gotten another fire since the opening salvo. Like our, our secondaries have not done what they're supposed to be doing. About to have our damage con back. We've got the advantage in terms of hit points. Uh, we have chased him out of the one cap. We're about to get back in and contest this, so he's not going to have any points in terms of that. Do have to keep in mind he could potentially try to ram, but it doesn't look like he's going to be that guy. Looks like he's going to try to uh, keep his distance. He is actually going to get into the fucking cap. God dang. These fucking caps go quick. So that gives him the lead. If he rams me now, we lose. We do have our uh, our secondary. Don't want to give up too much of an angle here. Ship is on fire. Switching to HE. Problem solved, sir. Okay, this guy's coming into rim. We've got to turn out. No, he's still reversing. Go ahead, use our heal. Got a fire, he's gonna damage con that. He's 
still launching HE at us. Not the end of the world. The ship is on fire. As long as he's not AP in us. There's a perma fire. That's huge. Ah, he went back to AP. Problem solved, sir. Come on, baby. Okay, we got the cap. So we can flip that back in our favor. We'll get angled towards him. Remember, we still have that permafire ticking over there. Uh, yep, still ticking. Double fires us, the ship is on fire. but uh, he's dead. I say he's dead. Okay, secondary's got him. I was going to say, I say he's dead. He's got no health, but I just did no damage to him, even though I'm trying to hit the superstructure. But uh, down he goes. Another gray guy. All right. Uh, it's not that I've become an HE spammer. It's just that the Nassau, when it's bow in, I can't do anything. It doesn't have a superstructure that can be farmed like American and German battleships. Uh, but if they're bow in, like, I, I kind of need damage. So shooting AP and just ricocheting doesn't make any sense. But uh, nice, nice Batman quote, by the way. I like it. Also, another Nassau. I'm going to start with AP loaded, just in case... We've been getting a lot of Nassau's start out kind of broadside. Battle starts. And again, I have no idea where this guy's going to spawn in. Yeah, Drunken Sailor, I agree. It is, it is a lot of fun. I love the 1v1s. Oh, by the way, what up, Cheetah? M14, user. What would you do with the drunken sailor? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Round and round and up and down we go again. Everybody knows I love you so. Let's twist again like we did last summer. Oh, shoot. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, get the secondaries doing what they do. Again, I set myself up for a course to avoid the island, and I catch the edge of the fucking island. Main turret, critically damaged. 
And again, I set a fire early and can't get another fucking fire on this man. And his wing turrets, I'm not gonna lie, are kind of obnoxious. Dude, this dude is wrecking me, and there ain't a damn thing I can do about it. The ship is on fire. He's just got guns loaded at all times. Problem solved, sir. What is his reload? Five fucking seconds? He's loading his guns as fast as a damn cruiser. Main turret critically damaged. Solved, sir. This dude is tearing me up, and there's nothing I can fucking do to him. There's just nothing. Main turret blown up. Like he's got guns every time I try to do anything. Like at that point, I probably should have just threw it in reverse and let him ram me. Uh, that was that was fucking beatdown. There was nothing I could do there. That man had the fastest reloading fucking Nassau I've ever seen in my life. He just had a gun ready at all times. There was nothing I could do. And I don't know if the Nassau overmatches. Like, I, I've never really paid that much attention to it. But uh, that was pretty pretty brutal. GG to him. Pretty brutal. Again, I am playing the American battleships out of, like, just wanting to play the American battleships in ranked. I understand that they are not necessarily the best for this. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. But, uh, yeah, like, that was that was pretty brutal. That man put it on us. But again, the map doesn't fucking help. I can't maneuver my ship. Like, I would... There was a couple of times where I would have loved to kind of overturn and come back at him to try, you know, to change up the course of the fight because I couldn't really do anything up to that point. Like, if we're in... We're locked in this chase mode. He's winning because he has three guns pointed directly at my ass of my ship. He's knocking my rear guns out every time he fires, and he's getting damaged. So there's not a whole lot I could do. So I wanted to turn in, but the big-ass fucking islands keep you from doing that. Like, that's the downside so far of this, has been all of the fucking islands that are in the fucking caps. Like, you put the islands, or you put a fucking map like this where you can just sit out in the open, it's different. You can maneuver your ships a little better. Okay, he is charging forward, finally. That's the accuracy we need, baby. Give me more of that. Of course, they gave it to him, too. And he gets 5,300. I get 3K, he gets 5,300. What is that accuracy? Okay, we've caught him in a fucking dreadnought shuffle here.
Come on, Messick. Oh, Messick. Give me the fucking RNG to actually hit the man, please. All right, so now he's angled away from us. We're going to be able to go into the superstructure. Hopefully get a fire. There it is. No fucking way. No fucking way. They give him that! Come on, man. He goes... F That's horse shit. That's horse shit. Guy does the same thing. I get no citadels. He fucking dev strikes. That's fucking horse shit. Come on, man. What is that? Where's my fucking RNG, huh? Why are you gonna give it to him? That's bullshit. That's so fucking bullshit, dude. To give him that fucking dev strike. That is, that's actual fucking horseshit. Of course they would to me though, right? Guy goes broadside in front of me. I get all of the guns to bear. I punch him. I get all of his health, but no citadels. He does the same thing to me and gets a fucking dev strike. Like, come on, man. I wish that I, and he doesn't, it, he was in a regular Wyoming. He doesn't even have the fucking artillery plotting room. He was getting better RNG with his fucking shells than me. Like, what is that? Like, my shit was going everywhere but him. That's fucking obnoxious. That's fucking obnoxious. That's our, what, third loss? Or is that four? I think that's four. Good lord. We were doing good, but here lately we're just getting fucked over. That, that was our fucking game to win. Like, that was easy fucking game. And the fucking game's just like, nope, sorry, we're gonna fuck you over. Yeah, Iron or Orion, I don't think you're gonna enjoy this fight, if I'm honest. If I'm honest, I don't think you're actually gonna enjoy this fight. keep giving him bullshit like that maybe he will enjoy it can't believe they let that fucking guy death strike me that's fucking bullshit Actual bullshit. I was gonna say, I thought he was back there. That's gonna hurt. But that should also hurt.
Okay. So the goal here is going to be come around the corner angled slightly. Because he's going to be loaded too. We're going to have to try to catch him uh, going for the broadside. Damn it, man. These guys are getting so fucking... It, I'm just... I'm getting... I'm getting, like, completely trashed on just not playing smart. I just need to play smart. Just play it fucking smart. Stop being broadside to every fucking thing. Quit playing for games that are over in two minutes. You've got time. Why rush it? Come on now. Losing to people I shouldn't be losing to. Tears of the desert, huh? That's not even that pro pilot. It's just that, uh, like, I'm just being stupid. Like, plain and simple. Like, I need to, I need to relax. I need to take my time. There's no reason I should be rushing into everybody. That guy played it right. He sat behind the island, waited for me to come around the corner, flat fucking broadside like a complete dipshit. Like... I'm just making dumb mistakes because I'm trying to, like, make these battles go quickly. And I, I, there's no reason for it. There's absolutely zero reason for it. Hits me, knocks out one of my guns. I knock out one of his guns, I think, too. Just play my game and don't worry about what does what the other guys do. He doesn't even have a fucking superstructure. It's like a fucking... He's like one of those Russian fucking battleships. They don't have superstructures whatsoever. You shoot at it, you get nothing. 
But we're burning him down with the secondaries anyway. Stay an angle. You're giving him that through. Fuck you, game. Get the fuck out of here. Seriously, what the fuck is the game doing to me right now? Like, that dude literally just citadel me through the ass. Not even through the cheek, through the ass. Like, he just overmatched me and punched straight through to a citadel. Fuck that. Hey, like, come on now. I know better. Like, I know better. It's friggin' ridiculous. Yubari? That's a bold choice. All right. Morning, Donald. Action stations. <sighs> so we know we should spot him coming around this corner. In theory. Boy, that's a tiny ship. The ship is on fire. That is a tiny Damage. ship. All right, let's go ahead, turn the guns the other direction, turn back in. Oh no, torpedoes. Who could have seen that coming? It's almost like that's literally the only thing he can do to me. This guy is very confused right now. Keep going. No, the cruiser never had a chance. Never had a chance. I will not die to a cruiser at tier 3. I can promise you that. I'll even go as far as to say I won't die to a fucking destroyer at tier 3. Tier 4? Kamikazes? Probably. But tier 3? Not so much. Uh, 
Uh, destroyers can definitely win a tier four. Especially the, the fucking um, kamikaze. Like, that thing is insane. Um, tier three is, is kind of rough for them. Because uh, of the short range of the torpedoes. But uh, tier five and up is is going to be real interesting because you get a lot of good battleships you get a lot of good cruisers you get a lot of good destroyers so uh, this guy gets a better concealment than us so that's interesting Enemy force sighted on the horizon. let's see if we can bait him into shooting here Eh, didn't get much. There we go. Not getting the best RNG so far, but uh, this guy's opening up way too much, so it's just a matter of time before we catch him. We've already shown that we can be death struck, so we probably ought to take it a little bit easy. There we go. That was a good hit. And there's perfect example. Catches us through that cheek that I talked about. But we're literally doing the exact same thing to him. Now we gotta get turned in. Going for a, a drive-by, boys. Damn near waited too long, but I wanted to make sure. Wanted to make sure. All right, boys. Three more wins and we're done. Uh, to Lalak, no. You literally just pick a ship and go in and you fight against one random person. Can be a destroyer, cruiser, or battleship. So keep that in mind. Kaiser versus Arkansas? Okay. Action stations. Uh, Baltimore, I'm just trying to play the American battleships through the uh, 1v1s, sorry. Um, I did say that at the beginning of the stream. I know you weren't there right at the beginning, but... Yeah, it's just, uh... It's kind of a, a example of pride for me, I guess. I know they're not the best ships for 1v1s, but I like to do it, and I love American ships, so... Gotta represent. Come on, Kaiser, where are you hiding? Enemy force sighted on the horizon. That's a huge first sit first salvo. Like, that's huge. We just took a third of that man's health.
He's a secondary build too. It's kind of funny. All right, so if this man is, is destined to sail around full broadside, I'm going to make sure we have all guns to bear for the next salvo. That way we get the absolute best out of it. Wasn't the best, but that was a solid hit. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start our turn out while we have the island. We're going to wait for him to come around this island. He's actually doing a pretty good job of staying angled, so I'm going to aim high. Go ahead and flip the guns. Got to fire with our secondaries. I have a feeling with this guy's sec or with this guy's brawler build, I have a feeling that he's going to be trying to ram me because he probably has diehard. Now I'm hoping that at this point he's lost enough hit points that if he does ram me, he dies and I don't. But knocked out one of his guns. I think it's pretty obvious at this point this guy is literally just trying to ram me. We have dodged the ram though, so he's fucked. Problem solved, sir. The ship is on fire. Here we go. German battleships are better, Spartan. They're better at brawling. Fuck you! My American ships can brawl just fine. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't remember if the diehard skill still exists. I, I, I thought it did, but I could be wrong. Oh, it's a Carl's Rue. That's... Actually could be a problem. I say a problem. It's not going to be a problem. Let's be real. I'm going to remove that thing pretty quickly. But it could be. If he knows what he's doing and he sits, he's able to do some things, like he could be a potential pest. The DPM of the German cruisers are no joke. And the Karlsruhe in particular for me when I shoot at it doesn't tend to get citadel, unfortunately. But uh, we'll see. Uh, Russians could be really good, especially given the fact that they can get three turrets over the target at a decent angle to keep your, your belt armor angled. Um, but, I don't know. Like, uh, it just, if anybody gets your broadside, anybody's able to get that broadside, you are dead. Then there's no other way to put it. Like, you're dead. Now, the, the normal play to do if you're going to do battleships would be to always play something that overmatches the enemy. Uh, we don't actually have that ability as, a, as an American until much later in the, the line. And we don't uh, overmatch any battleships until Tier 6. Could use the West Virginia to overmatch a Tier 5 if we wanted, but the West Virginia doesn't have any armor. So, there's that. 
No idea where this this cruiser is. I'm assuming he loaded in, saw my name, and just, just quit. Which, I can't blame him. Can't blame him. Water Rainbow 960 Xbox. Alright. Well, he didn't quit. I give him props. He did not quit. But, uh, unfortunately for him... Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, the Carl's Rue can be a real, real pest. And now I've got an island to my left. This this turn may have gotten me into trouble. Go ahead, use those secondaries. Knock out a torpedo tube, temporarily. Come on, baby. I need you to hit hard. That's what we need. That's what we need. That fucking railgun right there is what we need. Do you see that shit? Every one of those rounds went right to that man's citadel. I don't care if he had 100,000 hit points. He was losing it all right there. Like, every one of those rounds went straight to the citadel. Appreciate that slow turret. All right, guys. If we can get this win, I think this is it, isn't it? What are we up against? A Nassau. Okay. All right. Nassau on this friggin' map with all the islands. Again. Pretty sure we, like, spawn directly across from each other in the big circle, so. Uh, maybe I go for the little circle. I don't know what I should do here. But uh, either way. We're gonna we're gonna try to get up in here and punch it. Yeah, I mean the armor is decent enough on the West Virginia, and it does overmatch. But like I said, you don't need at tier five. You don't need the West Virginia to overmatch. You can actually play like Queen Elizabeth and and War Spite. They overmatch as well. Uh, so does the Bayern. Uh, anything with 15-inch guns overmatches from tier 5 up. Like, no problem. So, like, you you know, playing that wouldn't be a bad idea. But my problem with the West Virginia is it's not exactly a brawler. Um, you can angle the armor decent. You can ricochet. But it just takes one salvo to remove a West Virginia if it gets a good chunk. Like, one, one good salvo and it's gone. But again... That goes for most battleships. If you if you overangle, you get caught. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Look at all those shells going low. Oh my god, these fucking islands, man. Like, how are you supposed to maneuver your ship with all these fucking islands around? Like, I don't want to sit flat broadside to this man. I want to angle. This guy's actually doing a pretty smart thing by sitting behind the island instead of coming out to fight me. Because he's going to get both of the caps, which is going to force me to come at him. I've got no choice. I don't know how fast the points are going to tick up with both caps to him, but this sucks. This fucking island can suck my dick. Why do they fuck you over with islands in this? Like, give me a fucking 1v1. Stop giving me fucking me versus the maps. Let me angle my ship properly. Let me fucking kite out or kite in when I need. Like, this is obnoxious. Yeah, the fucking points are going fast. I'm so fucked. I am so fucked. Oh, damn. Yep, didn't see that fucking coming. I wasn't expecting him to be there. If he rams me, it's GG. If I turn out, it's fucking GG. 
Like, is this... Dude, Nassau seems to be the, the definite way to go. But, uh... Hey, shot our belt. That's actually preferable in this situation. If he shoots our rear cheek, we're in a lot of trouble. Again, I got another fucking island in front of me that I gotta dodge. Look at the damage he does to the, like, ass of my ship. Okay, we got a bow fire. See what I mean about him going straight through the ass of my ship? He's got an overman. It's the only thing I can figure. This ain't the first time they've done it. But I'm dead. There ain't a whole hell of a lot I can do here. I'm about to get another heal, but I think he'll kill me. Yeah. Secondary got me. Dude, the fucking Nassau's strong, man. Nassau is real strong. It's faster than me, it seems, because it gets into the caps faster. It's got a lot more accurate guns than I remember the damn thing having. But, uh, GG to him. Damn it. Fuck the Nassau, man. I don't remember it being this accurate. Like, when did the fucking Nassau become accurate? Like, I don't remember that. Another fucking Nassau. Seems like everybody's choosing to run Nassaus, huh? I mean, it makes sense. It is the better option, clearly. Because there ain't shit I can do to it other than try to burn it down. I can't really go for... Uh, AP on it when it goes bow in all the damn time. <sighs> Frustrating. Spartan, the reason I don't use the Nassau is because I'm trying to do this with American battleships. Like, that's, that's the whole point of this. To prove that you can actually win this in battleships that are not necessarily the best at their tier. If I wanted to go sweaty tryhard, I would get in ships that overmatch and just fuck everything up, but I don't want to do that. I want to, you know, represent the, the class of ships that I enjoy the most and the, uh, the tier of ships that I enjoy the most, or the, uh, fucking nation that I enjoy the most. Enemy on the Damn it, should have had a AP loaded. Should have had AP loaded. Got a fire. Okay, that's that asshole that I'm used to. Damn thing can't hit shit for me. Alright, we're gonna try to do something a little different. We're gonna load AP. We're gonna double back on ourselves and see if we can't catch this man broadside. If we had AP loaded at the beginning, we'd have had a fucking hell of a head start on killing this guy. Would have been huge.
Okay. He's over there. Not all that surprising. Okay, we've officially got points secured for now. He just derped his shells into the island. But then he goes bow in. Knock out one of his guns, but he gets two fucking wing turrets. Now I'm having to dodge the island again. So it's forcing me broadside to him, which I don't want. This is gonna get me fucking killed is what's gonna happen. Look how much damage he can do per salvo on me. Because I'm sitting here broadside because I gotta dodge the fucking islands in this fucking map. I love that he fires one shot and knocks out two of my fucking guns. And now he's knocked out another gun. Like, dude is knocking out every one of my guns. And again, I'm stuck by the fucking islands on this map. I can't fucking maneuver my ship. I'm just constantly in a fucking turning fight, which is not in my favor. Like, this guy gets to stay... Look, he is literally killing every fucking gun on my ship. Die. I'm, I'm dead. The fucking Nassau, man. Like, I can't do anything to that ship. Like, I can't kill it faster than it can kill me because I have to fucking try to, like, avoid the islands and they just stay bow into me forever. They just stay bow in forever and I can't fucking do anything to them. They don't have a superstructure that I can farm. I try to burn them down and I just have to spend the entire match dodging a fucking island and staying broadside, which is, like, the worst possible thing in the world. It fucking sucks. So far, if you want an easy fucking run through this this mode, run the fucking uh, Nassau for sure. Fucking obnoxious. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I should have rammed. You're right. I had the points lead. Should have just rammed him. But I don't like to do that. I don't like to ram. I like to actually fight, but the fucking islands suck, man. Just give me a fucking wide open turning fight. Like, allow me to angle my ship properly. Allow me to fucking engage properly. You put me into these fucking islands and I got to constantly dodge the islands, which makes me fucking give up angles that I don't want to give up. It's fucking annoying. These islands fucking suck, dude. Every every map's got 30 fucking islands in the caps. It's like... It makes these fights so much more fucking difficult. Because I'm forced to stay broadside to the fucking guy.
And they spawn him in a position to grab this fucking cap. Okay, we got the reset. Got a fire with the secondaries. Look at those ghosts. I'm aiming up here. They all drop down here. I don't know what the armor is on the, Bel uh, the Bellerophon here, but uh, it's not good. Definitely not good. It'd be nice if we get another fire with our secondaries. You can see we clearly overmatch because we're going straight through the bow on this man. There's a fire. All right, so Bellerophon, definitely not what you want to bring into this. I don't know why they, they thought that was a good idea. I don't know what the armor is on that thing, but it's not good enough. If I can go straight through the bow on you, not good. Dude, I get it. Like, again, the whole point of me playing the American Battleships, guys. Seriously. The whole point is the challenge of beating this with the American Battleships. That's the challenge. That's what I'm going with. If it takes me 60 fucking times to, to or 60 games to play, I don't care. Like, I just want to beat it with the American Battleships. Like, I don't care about win rate. I don't care about any of that. Battle starts. I mean, that's not what's what I'm about. I, I care about having fun and playing my American battleships and proving that you can, in fact, play it. Now, obviously, the Nassau is better. Is, that is the one ship that we have come up against that has absolutely trashed us. That's it. So. Yeah, I know it's got big guns. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I don't understand like what its armor is. It clearly doesn't have the armor that uh, the rest of us do. Because he straight up overmatched us. I think the Ishizuki is the only one. Maybe Orion too. Ishizuki and Orion are the only ones I think that can overmatch at tier 3. Um, and then of course... Iron Duke can overmatch at, at tier four. Enemy force detected. I'm gonna test something. Yeah, we overmatch his bow. Interesting. We don't overmatch the Nassau, am I right? Like, that's not a thing. Okay, that didn't overmatch. Okay. Maybe he has Icebreaker. Dear God. That hurt. There we 
go. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. He must have an icebreaker, maybe? Because I thought we overmatched with the first couple of shots. <sighs> I mean... Ah, uh, fuck it. Again, it's all about trial and error, guys. Like, if you don't know for certain, you gotta test things, right? That's what you do. All right. We got another easy... Like, this should be an easy fight. Morning, China. Morning, Dalton. Big Faza. Hive up in the chat. What up, Hive? Out here representing the American battleships to much of uh, my fellow chat folks' dismay, apparently. But uh, appreciate everybody dropping by. Got 308 people in chat right now. Holy crap. Early morning, too. I appreciate you guys dropping by. If you like what you're seeing, punch that like button. I know we've got dumpstered by a couple of Nassau so far. But uh, we've, we've handled business for the most part. I can't believe I got 310 people watching at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> you guys are nuts. I know for you guys across the pond, it's not 6.30 in the morning, but for me it is. I appreciate all y'all. You guys are fantastic. Absolutely, Bug. Absolutely. Yeah, Suzuka. Exactly. Or is it Suzuka? I, I, I'm not 100% sure. Jason, it's 5.30 for you. Yeah, you Minnesotans. How's it going up there, by the way, Jason? Enemy force detected. Ah, shit. It's ah! a good opening salvo. I'll take it. Luckily, his guns were not in the right location. We got turned in. Uh, we're going to catch him through this little porthole if we get loaded in time. This might be a two-shot kill. That man got dumpstered. No Citadel. Really? H E. Interesting. The ship is on fire. Interesting. Problem solved, sir. Hello, sunshine. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what springs like on a Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, baby, kiss me. Fill my heart with song. Let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. And we have officially finished. There we go. Bonk. We finished, guys. We'll look at our stats here in a second, but uh, I feel like we did pretty well overall. The only ship that we actually struggled against was the Nassau. But again, this, the, the way that I'm going to be doing these 1v1 dual seasons is I'm going to be playing American Battleships. Uh, I know again that they're not the best for the the 
ranked 1v1s, but it's a challenge. That's the whole point of the challenge, right? So, there you go. Ah, wow. That guy got... Poor guy. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of it. Uh, let's go check out our stats for this. Shall we? Oh, we've crossed 3,000, or we've crossed 7,000 battles, guys. And for those of you who, who've never seen my stats before, now you guys get to see. Uh, we've got 7,000 battles. we got a 63% win rate. We've killed 8,500 people. Uh, 1.2 ships destroyed. We got a 73,000 damage average. So pretty average. Um, the potential damage against me is 837,000, which is nice. My Iowa, my most played ship, over 1 million potential damage average per game. Uh, for ranked battles, uh, let's see. Season 21, Arkansas, 72% win rate. Again, we, we had a solid... Solid showing there. 25 battles it took me to finish. 19 uh, kills. So, you know, we did we did good. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Main gun accuracy, 55%. Like, we, we were hitting our shots. Potential damage against us per battle was over half a million. So you love to see that. Uh, I believe SAP on the new battleships is only for the secondaries, so you can't actually do anything with it. I think it is just the secondaries. But you can see our 72% win rate is one step below the super unis up there. Like, we're, we're right there. We're right there, guys. Like I'm, I've always said I'm not the best, never claimed to be the best. I just enjoy it. And uh, you guys seem to enjoy it with me. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy it? I did. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, if we go here, you can see that our average XP is 2,398. That's basically 2,400 base XP. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Especially for a battleship main. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Open our crates. All right, we can do that. Nothing. Nothing. Are we going to get a ship? Nope. Yep. I don't think we're getting much of anything, folks. I think these are just the regular containers. Nope, never mind. Still got these. Yep. Unfortunate. Yep. So we didn't get nothing. Got uh, some boosters and camos and stuff. Also, you guys want to see how many friend requests I've got? Well, let me uh, go ahead and accept that. Chili still hasn't accepted my friend request, guys. You believe that guy? Chili hasn't accepted it. I feel hurt. Hurts my feelings. All right, but let's look at the, look at all the PlayStation folks that have added me already. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got lots of PlayStation folks added me. And then, of course, Xbox. I mean... Quite a few on Xbox. <laughs> Good lord. But, uh, yeah. I, I think we're done with the, uh, the actual stream. With the, uh, or with the, the playing the game. But I, I do want to kind of just hang out for a few and just chat with you guys. Maybe do some Q&A if you guys got any questions or anything like that. But, uh, yeah. That was fun. Let's go ahead and shut that down go over here and do a little bit of uh fanciness we get rid of uh let's see doop doop do face cam 
Bloop. God, I can't see crap. I can't see crap. I'm going to have to, uh, just give me a second, guys. Switch over to my TV so I can actually see what I'm doing. All right, there we go. Snap that and bonk. And then we can even go further and put this, this old thing. Dang it. And then we, of course, put that under the face cam. Beautiful. Look at that. It's like I've done this before. I'm a professional. Professional. All right. So I know this is a little different, but uh, I just thought we would hang out, guys. What you guys got? Uh, did we get a lot of snow or just ice? Currently, like, we've gotten a lot of rain, and that's about it. That's about it. Um, what else we got? Floating head, exactly. A little bit of floating head. Spartan's an alien. That is true. I am an alien. It is fantastic. Whoops. See if we can uh, duplicate. All right. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Let's turn it back. I'm trying to get too fancy. I don't need to. Don't need to. I, I closed my freaking... I'm an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. Be right with you, chat. <laughs> I, I closed my, my freaking uh, live stream like a dum-dum. Uh, hopefully it's still running. All right. Woo. Sorry about that, guys. Kind of goobered. But uh, yeah. Would I ever play Warzone on stream at all? Like Call of Duty? Uh, doubtful. Yeah, it, it's been raining here, but I... it. Oh, God darn it. Stop being an idiot. I literally just did it again. Um, but, yeah. Like, uh, I guess technically it's saying it has switched over to ice. So, ice for at least 60 minutes. So, apparently, since I've been streaming, it has switched over. Uh, what tech tree ships do I recommend for ranked? It all depends on what you're best at. Uh, for tier three, I don't recommend running a cruiser just due to the fact that you're going to get absolutely dumpstered anytime you run into a battleship. Um, if you do run a destroyer, which I also don't recommend, uh, you know, the Japanese destroyers have the advantage. They have all the concealment. They have the longer range torpedoes. Like the Japanese destroyers are where it's at. Um, if you're going for gunboat destroyers, uh, American, the Farragut is fantastic. It can even fight low tier cruisers. Like if you can rush a cruiser and get its broadside, you can citadel it to death before it can kill you with HE. Um, so there's always that. Uh, but battleships for me is my specialty. I love battleships. Uh, I, I love American battleships. That's what I'm best in. So that's what I choose. As you saw the, uh, the Nassau. If you have that, is probably the best ship for uh, Tier 3 currently, 1v1s. Like, that ship is very, very strong. Uh, as you've seen, it's got good secondaries, even though technically the secondaries on Arkansas and Wyoming are better, in my opinion, because they're more accurate. We get more fires out of them. Uh, but the, the guns themselves, like, the Nassau's that I was coming up against were very, very accurate, and they were incredibly tanky. So trying to get rid of them was really, really rough. Um... What are your thoughts on tier six and seven Italian battleships having rolling smoke? If it's, it's something that makes them unique, so I don't hate it. You know what I mean? Uh, who hasn't wanted to, at some point or another, hit a button and disappear in a battleship? Like, that's not bad. Like, that, that's actually kind of strong if used properly. 
Did you ever watch that uh, clip I sent you of the ship doing a 360 in the air? Uh, probably not. I, I don't get a chance to watch many clips on, on Xbox if you send them to me. So keep that in mind. Um, I do appreciate it. I do read most of the like text messages and stuff. But when it comes to viewing the clips, I get a lot of clips sent to me. And just trying to get get through everything, it just I don't have time to do that. Beast Text coming in with a thirty-one dollar Australian dono. So happy that you came out in a video. Very proud of you. As someone from the LGBTQ plus community, it is hard to come out because, as you said, you will be criticized and everything in, under the sun. I hope you have a good journey, and uh, thank you so much, man. And uh, good luck on your own, man. I, I'm not exactly sure what your situation is, Beast, but uh, I do. I do appreciate it, and again, like I said, I, I'm not going to make this a thing where I talk about it all the time on the channel, uh, just because I know that's not why people are here, but I wanted to I wanted to share with people, uh, I wanted to get it out there to my family, uh, and that was the easiest way to do it, is to just make a video, let everybody know, and now I don't have to hide anymore, and I'll tell you what, it, it has been incredibly, I don't, it, it sounds cliche to say, but it has been incredibly liberating or freeing to just have that off my mind i don't ever have to think about it anymore like the amount of stress that you put on yourself hiding whatever it is and it doesn't have to be something like what i'm going through whether it's being transgender or whatever it doesn't have to be that we all have secrets that we hide and sometimes getting rid of those secrets can be the most freaking amazing feeling in the world so i do appreciate you beast 100 percent um, uh, but yeah, like, again, I, I'm not trying to, uh, to harp on anybody. I don't want to push any feelings on anybody else that they don't want to hear. Like, that's not about, that's what, not what I'm about. I am just, you know, I'm me and I wanted other people. I've always been open and honest. And that's why I like to do Q and A's and stuff with people. Cause if one, if people want to ask me questions, I'm, I'm an easy going person. I like to answer everything. I like to, you know, interact with you guys. I love you guys. Uh, if it hasn't been made perfectly obvious so far, like you guys are everything to me. Like I have my sister, my nieces, my nephew, my dad. Outside of that, I've got good family members, but I'm not that close with a whole lot of people. It's you guys. You guys are my extended family. So I love you guys. Can you stack same abilities for ships via inspirations? Uh... I don't really think there's that many abilities that you can stack due to the fact that they usually stack different things. I mean, technically, yes, you can stack things like concealment. You can stack things like um, uh, hit points added to your ship, or you can stack uh, a base trait from one commander and add another base trait that kind of supports that. But if, like, if you're talking about stacking dispersion uh, in particular for, like, us battleship captains... If you're talking about that, generally speaking, the dispersion build out there, you have Andrew Cunningham and Azure Lane Sharnhorst. They buff two different things about dispersion. So dispersion is an overall thing. There's two aspects to dispersion. There's shell grouping, which is how close the shells stay to one another. And then there's the overall dispersion, which I think everybody calls Sigma, which is basically an oval around a ship that your shells can land in. Okay, so wherever you're targeting, there's an actual, like, oval that's basically around the ship. On PC, you can actually see in the mini-map, up in the top left corner, that there is a uh, target on the map that you, you're you going to land somewhere in that target. Okay, so um, that's why I always talk about auto-aim. Even if I'm not actually using auto-aim to shoot at somebody, auto-aim is a thing regardless. Because the, sh the game is trying to determine where you're aiming based on a an oval that you're placing around a ship. And our version of the game doesn't really allow us to see that oval. So we do the best we can to place the shots where we think they need to go. But uh, if you're trying to buff your dispersion on your ships, uh, you have two types of dispersion. And like I said, you got to look for the key. They do tell you which is which. They tell you shell grouping and they tell you dispersion. Dispersion is the big one. Shell grouping is a little less important for me personally. Um... But getting that, that oval that the shells can land in to be smaller is what's going to give you the best results. All right, Velo. Appreciate you dropping in, and uh, thank you.
Appreciate you, Boogeyman. 5K subs is a lot to lose. Ah, we haven't lost 5K subs. I think at last uh, last I looked, we've lost like 300 or something like that. But I'm hoping that uh, I, I'm hoping that it ain't too much worse. Uh, like again, if people leave because I finally tell them, you know, that I'm different, that's on them. Like I can't control what people uh, think about me, and personally, I don't care. Uh, if they want to leave, that's on them. I don't force anybody to be here. Just like my salt rations and stuff like that. I get people come in and they get mad at me for being, uh, you know, being me. Just being a loud, obnoxious person occasionally. I get it. I don't like that me either. But it is me at the end of the day. And so, like, I do put it everywhere. I put it in the titles that it's a salt ration. I put it in a description saying that there will be strong language. So I try to do all the things. And at the end of the day, if, if people don't like that, then, you know, don't watch. It's that simple. Uh, I don't force anybody to be here. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, if, if people leave, fuck them. Exactly. Like, again, they have a choice. I have a choice. It's not, you know, I'm not forcing anybody to be here at the end of the day. And again, that's not what I'm, I'm here to talk about. So we'll just keep moving on. Are you going to make a video on the new Italian battleships? Yes, I uh, definitely will. I'm not sure if I'm going to wait until they come out into or, or come out of early access because I don't want to spend a bunch of money. You guys got to understand, I'm not a CC anymore, so I actually have to buy everything now, and it costs a lot of money, and I barely get by using my YouTube channel currently. Uh, and again, that's my choice, but uh, but. As me barely getting by, I got to be pretty decisive on what I decide to spend my money on. And loot boxes to get ships is not one of them. Uh, I'm not going to waste money trying to get loot boxes. So um, that's just my opinion. Again, everybody's entitled to their own. Uh, but for personally, I would rather wait till they come out. I do have a couple of them from uh, crates that I've gotten through the campaign. Um, I think I got the tier 4 or 5. Three, four, five. I think I got three, four, and five. Six, I don't have yet. So I may do uh, do that. I, I do intend to pick up the Italian uh, Azure Lane Commander, the uh, Littorio, when she comes out on, I think, Monday. So I'm looking I'm looking for that. Um, because it's a dispersion build, Commander, which is something I said they should have brought out from the get-go. It's kind of bullshit that they, they lock it behind a, uh, a paywall. Um I, I think that's scummy as hell, and I've said that already. So, uh, can I be a CC again, or were you removed forever? I can be a CC again. They said that they are not gonna lock me out of the program if I can prove to them that I I have able to control myself. Then they said that they there is a window of opportunity for me to come back. Uh, but again, it's not something that I really am aspiring to do. Uh, if, if they want to bring me back in, that's their choice. It was their choice to bring me in in the first place. I didn't ask for it. Uh, I haven't changed. Um, I started streaming, and that's what got me into trouble. Um, but, yeah, I mean, again, I don't have any issues with Wargaming. Uh, Wargaming obviously has to protect their, their image, and if they think that I go against that, then, you know, that's their decision. So I don't have any issues with that whatsoever. Yeah, exactly, Vacton. The paywall is bullshit. Like, that is the only only thing about this game that, that drives me crazy. And I get it. It's a free-to-play game. They have to make money somehow. I get that. I 100% I get that. But they've not done this for any other freaking nation. No other nation has locked a battleship dispersion commander behind a paywall. Everybody gets a, a base commander for a brawler build and a base commander for a dispersion build and everybody can unlock them with the regular crates that they get in challenges uh, for their weekly challenges, okay? So I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem with the fact that they lock the the one dispersion build commander that they're going to bring to the line is locked behind a paywall. That's bullshit. Like, that shouldn't happen. Like, you shouldn't force people to play a ship a certain way. And I said that when the Italians first came into the with the Roma. Like, when, when you first came out with the Julius Cesari and the Roma... I understand that there's a way that those ships are meant to be played, but you should not force somebody to play the ship the way that you want them to play it. Like the whole point of uh, most of the fun of the game is playing different ships differently. 
Like, you don't play it the same as everybody else. Like, for me, for an example, me, I tend to be ex- extremely aggressive in my American battleships. Nobody else does that. Like, who, who other than Massachusetts peoples, who rushes people in American battleships? I do it all the time. So, like, that is, I, that's the challenge part for me. That's the fun part of this game is playing ships differently than they're meant to be played or playing ships that I enjoy or playing the way that I enjoy. And uh, I just don't really enjoy tank build commanders that well. Like, I just, on anything. Um, with the Germans, they got the Hyde, which is a, a hybrid commander, and you lock that behind a paywall? I got no problem with that. It's a hybrid commander. It's got tank build aspects. It's got fucking, uh, you know, I have no problem with Hyde being a pay, paywall. That is not an issue. Because you have Cunningham, or not Cunningham, Hipper and Ciliax that you, you have as a a dispersion build or a tank build if you want to build them that way. And then you introduce a special commander that has aspects from both, makes it a very high high price deal that you want to grab. So I get that. Um, but yeah, to lock base commanders behind a paywall is kind of bullshit. Shina coming in with the 10 pounds. Thank you for a fabulous morning. Now lunchtime. Love Queen because you're fabulous as always. I appreciate you, Queen. Have a good lunch. Love you guys, man. Uh, Jordan Adams. They should do a South American nation in game. I mean, do the does any South American nations have their own ships? I know during the Spanish American War, like the Spanish had ships down there, but Yeah, Antonio, but I've always been honest, like, that's the thing, like, it's gotten me in trouble in times, uh, for, for opening my mouth when I shouldn't, or maybe opening my mouth when I should, and it's not necessarily agreed with by the companies that, that, uh, are, you know, helping, helping you out, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, I just, if you put a if you put a special commander out there and it's got its special abilities and whatnot, that's one thing. But to take and uh, rem- not bring in a dispersion build commander for one nation, just one nation, not bring in a dispersion build and then bring in a dispersion build as a paywall, I think that's that's crap. So um, if they eventually bring out a regular base commander for the re- or for the Italians, uh, I'll change my mind on this. But until then, like I think it's bullshit. Uh, Jordan says he likes to play uh, Vlad Ramming build. Ouch. But nice. If they released pirate ships, nice. That would be a fun little... Uh, like, honestly, if you think of, like, uh, you know how they do special events once in a while? Could you imagine, like, a sail event where you got, like, ships of the line? You go out there with 30, 40 can of 60 gun. You get a man of war. You get the 60 gun broadsides. That would be a lot of fun, man. I think that'd be really cool uh, to do, like, as a, a little special event. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, everybody talks, man. Let's be real. There isn't a single CC out there that doesn't get a, upset. We all get upset. Um some of us take it a little further than others. And like I said, what got me into trouble was the naming and shaming. It wasn't that I said anything particularly bad. It's just that I was calling the people out in per- particular on stream in front of a hundred or 300 people. And, you know, by the time I closed the stream down 3,500 views, like, so I, I am the, the biggest channel for world of warships legends. There's nobody else out there that, that has what we have. Uh, I have the best community on World of Warships Legends, even though, you know, Peak and I, we share a lot of people, Aaron, me and me and Aaron Peak, we all share a lot of the same people. Obviously, I share a lot of you guys with a lot of people, um, but we do have the best community, period, on YouTube, and uh, all you got to do to see that is to go back and watch that video from the other night. Um, so they got a thousand comments on it, and 95% of them are just absolutely, like, make me cry with, like, Seriously, you guys get me all choked up. So, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys are the reason I do this. I enjoy it. I enjoy hanging out with you guys. I enjoy, uh, just chilling. Shadow, I tend to play Yamini, uh, just as much aggressive as I play any other battleship. 
man, you could never be a CC because you'd be uh, removed within a week. I mean, like I said, they, they give you they give you warnings and stuff, and then they just it it's one of those things where when you're live, it's hard to stop yourself, and uh, you know when you cross that line, you cross the line. You shout at the TV too, China? Yeah, I mean, every gamer does. Like, if you've got any competitiveness in you whatsoever, you can't tell me that you've not screwed up, gone broadside, got blapped, or got caught by a destroyer coming around a corner and dumped all their torpedoes in you and not started fucking losing your shit. Like, everybody's done it. Everybody does. It, that's what draws people to my channel is because I'm real. You know what I mean? I don't try to hide it. I don't try to, like, cover up me. It's just, you know... And that's why I was able to say what I said the other night because I don't hide things. And that, that is something I've hidden from everybody for a long time. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. FIFA. <laughs> See, I've never been a soccer guy. Uh, soccer is not a big thing here. I mean, there depends on where you're at in the U S I guess, uh, big cities tend to have soccer. Uh, but where I'm from, like soccer doesn't even exist. So, we we have football, basketball, baseball, track and field, and that's pretty much it. Some of us have wrestling at schools. I didn't have that at my school, but uh, of course you have the women's basketball, volleyball, uh, softball, stuff like that too. But Lear Knight coming in with a five dollar dono. I don't care if you red, green, or orange. Just keep the content and love. Would love to see a, a commie game. A commie game. Like kamikaze? Ah, we might we might be able to do that at some point. I don't like to play the kamikaze. That thing's broken. It is literally the one of the most broken broken ships in the game. Uh, what is the most kills I have gotten in a game? The most kills that I've gotten is seven. I've I've had seven kills in a game. Um. I've gotten so close to Solo Wars. The one medal that I've never gotten is a Solo War. I've gotten so close to Solo Warriors so many freaking times. It either ends up with one person less than what I need to have a Solo Warrior. Or I, I'm i in a position to get a Solo Warrior. But they have the points lead and not able to quite pull it. Like, So yeah. I, that, that huge clutch the other day in the Kansas. Or was it Montana? It was Montana. The huge Montana clutch that I had the other day was pretty epic. That was a fun one, close to a solo warrior. Not quite able to get a solo warrior, but we won the game. 1v3. Isn't there a new carrier called the Kami? No, it's called the Kaga. Uh, the Kaga is the new Japanese carrier. I am not a I'm not a carrier player, guys. I just I can't stand it. It's boring. I don't like it. Like it's just I don't know. It's not for me. So um, I am running the the. Um, Oh, what you call it? The bureau project to get the Kaga, and it will eventually get unlocked. But I'm not in any hurry. Just like I'm not for the uh, the Mino bureau project either. I've already got the Mino, so I'm only going to get silver out of it, and plus the little things that you earn along the way, the crates and stuff. So I'm not in a hurry for those. I'm not going to speed them up. I'm just going to you know log in, do my thing every day, um, let them do their thing, and then when other ships come out that I want, then I'll go for those. Ray Naglish, Naglik, I apologize, but Ray comes in with the $5 super sticker, uh, he's got a controller that's hurt, <laughs> somebody throw a controller, but I uh, appreciate you man, hopefully you're feeling alright. Zuz has uh, two solo warriors in arena, nice. Yeah, Arena seems to be the best place or most likely place to end up getting a solo warrior, to be honest. Uh, Baba Bowie. Is it better to get the Bismarck or Iowa without the pay-to-win commanders? Uh, without pay-to-win commanders, Iowa all day, every day. Because the base commander for the Iowa is William Sims. That's the guy that I run. Um, and it's going to be more accurate. It's going to be just a better overall ship for you. Um, the Bismarck, you could run a, a dispersion build on it, but it's not going to give you nearly as much satisfaction as the Iowa will. 
And uh, if you do decide to go with the brawler build on the, the thing, the gun performance with the base commander uh, brawler build is not good. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, personally, if those are your choices, I'd go Iowa. And that's not me being biased. That's just me stating facts. Leitanta, your kill record is 7 as well. Nice. In the Bismarck, very nice. What do I think about C detectability? I think C detectability is, uh, I mean, I get it, but uh, it can be extremely frustrating, especially as a battleship commander, having people popping in and out of existence, especially uh, destroyers that you can't spot. Antonio Glotzbach coming in with a $5 dono. My man, love what you're doing. Keep it up and uh, always lay out the salt. You know me, man. I will. I, I, love, I love talking to you guys. I love uh, playing the game. I'm a salty gamer. I try to keep it, you know, within reason, but you know me, I, I can't hold it in for very long. Uh, Pranav, uh, or Pranov, have you ever been shocked by a viewer's country? I.e., you never expected somebody from that country to be following you on YouTube for World of Warships Legends. Uh, honestly, like, my channel has been so big for so long that it's it's hard to to remember, but, like, I, I've shown you guys in the past. Uh, let's see if I can pull up YouTube here. Like, do, do, do. Uh, audience, I think. Mm, yes, top geographies. So. I'm looking at this right now. I'm not going to pull it. Well, I, I probably could pull it up for you guys. Um, let me. Chrome. Properties. There we go. Wait, what? Properties? Done. Oh, it's because we have everything pulled all the way up. I'm an idiot. All right, if we get rid of Spartan logo, and then we kind of uh, grab our face cam and make it a little bit smaller, and then we get rid of the Elgato. There we go. So, uh, sorry, guys. So you guys can see what I can see now. Also, if you guys want to say hi to YouTube, I could do that too, probably. But uh, yeah, we, we've got the U.S., obviously, it's where I'm from. It's where the biggest audience for World of Warships Legends is, as far as I know. Uh, so it makes sense that this is my number one. But U.K., Canada, I clicked on the wrong thing and managed to pull up pay, uh, Paint Shop Pro. Or not Paint Shop Pro, but Photoshop. Uh, but U.K., Canada, Germany, Australia, Netherlands. God bless America. Quit opening. I closed the window. All right, so Germany, Australia, Netherlands, Italy, France, Brazil, Greece, Poland, Mexico, Spain, Sweden, Norway, Ireland, New Zealand, Belgium, India, Saudi Arabia, um, Philippines, Japan, Finland, South Africa, Hungary, Russia, Indonesia, Denmark, Argentina, Switzerland, Portugal, Croatia, Romania, Turkey, Chechnya, uh, Chechnya uh, Austria, Malaysia, Chile, um, Thailand, Puerto Rico, Vietnam, Trinidad and Tobago, Singapore, Kenya, Hong Kong, Colombia, Slovakia, Iraq, UAE, United Arab Emirates, Israel, and that's just showing me the top 50, okay? Unfortunately, it doesn't show me the rest. I have to export it, but you guys can see that, like, the reach of this channel is just ridiculous. I love this channel. Uh, you guys are actually, like, insane, in the best way possible. But, uh, but yeah. So, there you go. And if you guys want to say hi to YouTube, I'm fairly confident. Yeah, so you guys are, you guys are there. There we go. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed that little, little dive. We can kind of look at, it, at each other. Um, but, like I said, it, it only shows, it only shows the, uh, the top 50. I have to export it to show the rest of the countries. 
But uh, for everybody that wasn't just listed in the top 50, I do appreciate you guys just as much. Like, you guys are awesome. And uh, so don't don't think just because that YouTube only shows the top 50 that I don't appreciate everybody from every country. Like, that, it's one of the things that I enjoy the most. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that and go back to... Big Spartan. Boom. All right. And we'll put the Spartan logo back up. But what else we got? Started streaming two hours ago. Yeah, Zarkoon. Uh, we, we ran through the ranked 1v1 duels in American uh, Arkansas. Uh, had a 72% win rate. Uh, we had a couple rough patches where we got caught. A uh, couple of them were, there was one match in particular where we got death struck, which was surprising. Uh, but, you know, it happens. And then, of course, uh, the the Nassau is definitely really, really strong for this. Do you think they'll add New Jersey to World of Warships Legends? I looked it up, and it's apparently the most decorated American battleship. Uh, New Jersey is the most decorated American battleship. Um, I can't remember exactly how many battle ribbons it has, but I want to say it's like 20 or 24. Can't remember. But either way, it, it got all of its battle ribbons through four different conflicts or maybe, maybe more. Um, whereas the most decorated American ship of all time is Enterprise, I believe. And uh, it got it in World War II. <laughs> so that's pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. Zarkoon and I are planning to do a stream at some point. Like I told him, it is whenever he's available, uh, we'll, we'll set up, a, we'll schedule it, and we'll, we'll make that happen. Um, I, I, I love the fact that we can division up with some of the PlayStation guys. I'm also planning on doing a... Uh, division event at some point with me uh we've done them in the past they've gone really really well um and i want to try to get some of the playstation folks involved in that for the first time ever so that'll be fun china talking about her spartan and face mask i'm glad you enjoy it china they are really nice i'm not gonna lie i was surprised at the quality of the face mask so um I mean, if you gotta wear them you gotta wear them so might as well have one that looks awesome and the spartan logo is a pretty awesome face mask. Let me, uh... Ugh. We've actually got a couple of different face masks. If you guys have never seen it. We got this one, which is the one that I wear. This is the one that Shina just got. Pretty, pretty slick, if you ask me. Pretty sexy. You got that Spartan logo. All right. Little merch plug here, guys. And then, of course, we have USS Iowa, too. Because what isn't better with the USS Iowa? You know what I'm saying? So we got that, too. But, uh, but yeah. In all seriousness, you guys know. If you guys, if you guys want to check out the merch store, it's down there in the, the description. Uh, you can check the link to the store. Or you can check the ones that uh, YouTube allows us to post. But, uh, yeah. How did I get my logo? I actually paid a, a uh, graphic designer to design me a logo. Um, it was expensive, but it was worth it. Dude knocked it out of the park. I love my logo so much. Like, this guy, I'm, I'm not joking when I say I paid a graphic. Like, this guy is a full-on professional. Uh, he, he designs logos for like sports teams and stuff. And, uh, it, I went on a website called 99 designs and you can kind of find different artists on there to, uh, come up with a, a design for you. Uh, again, depending on what you get or who you decide to go with, um, every artist has their own like, uh, skill set, but also their own like flair, their own, what was the word that I'm thinking of? 
Ah, style. That's the word. Style. They have their own style that they go with. And uh, I really like this guy's style. Uh, he was actually number two on my list, but I'm glad that uh, the number one guy on my list wasn't available and I was able to get with this guy because he killed it. I gave him a couple of things to go by. I literally just said, hey, uh, I've got an idea for a logo for my YouTube channel. And I asked him initially when I when I first contacted him, I was like, hey, I don't know how much is this is going to you know cost me for a YouTube logo. Um, you know, I'm going to be using it for merch and stuff like that. So I would love I would love a really s sweet logo. And I, I, he came back, he's like, you know, it'll be, it's not going to be cheap. It'll be 300, 350, something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was, but, uh, but it was, wasn't cheap, but it was really worth it. And it's a logo for me, for my channel. It's my brand. I own all of the copyrights to this logo. And if anybody tries to copy anything off of that, like use my logo when, without my permission, I can take legal action. So that was all important to me. I didn't want to get caught, um, using a logo that uh, wasn't mine. You know what I mean? Um, but I gave the guy d details. I was like, okay, so here's my thought. I want, I want basically a logo of Leonidas looking over his shield at the moment of uh, 300 as the Persians are charging in for the first time and you see the intensity in his eyes. He's over the shield. He's like, Spartans, prepare for glory. Give to them nothing, but take from the, that that moment where he's just ah, you know, super intense. And I gave him. I was like, okay, I would like that. I would love the Spartan shield aspect. I would love uh, the intensity and the the cross spears. And he took that and made this freaking emblem that I fell in love with. This is the first draft. Like this is literally it. The draft. This man sends me this back to me as the draft. I'm like, Did you fucking kill it. I'll take it. That's amazing. That is literally amazing. I, I don't know how they do it, man. I don't know how they do it. Artists are something, man. They, they are amazing. But I guess that's how they get their money. They better be good at it. But, uh, yeah, we have other merch as well. We have uh, the Spartan shirts. We have Spartan hoodies. We have Spartan... Uh, Oh, good Lord. We have the Iowa, the Bismarck, the hood, all of those. We've done shirts and hoodies and stuff for. So if you guys want to check those out. Uh, so like, it's not just a face mask. We got a little bit of everything down in our store. I try to keep the prices as low as possible. Obviously, the, the company that I, I do it through, they have to make a little bit of money. I try to keep the prices as low as possible. I don't make much of anything off the merch. It's just cool for me to actually see people wear my merch. So I don't really care about making money off of it. All right, what do we got? Super fast delivery. Yeah, I mean, China, uh, the Teespring guys, they actually have different places all around the world. They've got places in the U.S., they've got places in Europe. So, like, you can get delivery pretty quickly, and I'm fairly confident they deliver pretty much anywhere in the world. How do I record on Xbox? I personally don't record on Xbox. I run uh, an Elgato capture card in my PC that I, I run a... HDMI pass through from my Xbox to my PC and up to my TV so that I can basically record on my PC. Uh, that's what I use. Uh, in order to record like full like games and stuff on your Xbox, I'm fairly confident you have to have a uh, separate hard drive dedicated or at least to record 4K and maybe not 1080p, but to record 4K on the Series X and stuff, fairly confident you have to have a dedicated hard drive for video. Not that can't be used for games or anything like that. It has to be formatted a specific way for the for the video. So you could do that, or you could uh, you could end up streaming to Twitch from your Xbox. I know that's available, even though it's not the best. But sorry, I'm asking so many questions. But do you know a good way to farm credits? I'm saving up to buy my first tier seven. Play your best tier five or tier six ship. If you have a premium time, that helps. And if you have a premium ship, that helps. But play your best tier five and tier six ship, and that will get you the most money. Um, can you make a good living off of YouTube? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been living off of YouTube for the last year, uh, year and a half. I've been since July of 2020. I have quit my other job, my full-time job where I was working in factories and done YouTube full-time ever since. Uh, last, last year I made $31,000, which like I said, isn't amazing, but considering I'm sitting at home on my butt, playing video games, talking to you guys, having a blast, like it's my dream job. Uh, I made more money at working in a factory, getting overtime and stuff, but, but for like, just enjoying what I do, I can't beat it. Sure. I barely scrape by, but yeah, I mean, the bigger your channel gets, the more money you make. Like it, that is just how it goes. So I am doing pretty well. I, I couldn't be happier with how my channel's gone. Do you or will do more tier lists? Yes, I do plan on doing more tier lists. That video actually did pretty well. I wasn't sure how, how the video was going to be received. Uh, so I was kind of a test. So uh, tier 7 tech tree tier list is done. Uh, probably do tier 7 premium battleship tier list next. Uh, and then maybe we'll do cruisers and stuff at some point. Uh, probably going to just take time in between. I'm not going to put them all out at one time. Uh, because again, they're not the they're not necessarily the the main content that the channel gets really good uh, views for. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Plus, it takes a lot of effort to do those. Zarkoon is correct, by the way. Play tier six premium with premium time and credit flags. That's how you make the most money per match. Uh, preferably the Atlanta. If you can survive long enough in the Atlanta, you, that thing is a credit burner uh, or a credit uh, printer. So is the Nelson, for that matter. Antonio, I mean, I tell this to everybody. Um, I'm nobody special. I am just a goofy guy from the middle of nowhere uh, that, that enjoys playing video games. I record it, talking to myself for you guys. And, uh, you know, if I can do it, anybody can. All you got to do is start. Do what you enjoy. That's the key. If you enjoy it, it doesn't feel like work, you know. So do what you enjoy, whatever that may be. There's an audience for it on YouTube, whether it's fixing cars, whether it's playing with puzzles, whether it's uh, video gaming, whether, no matter what it is you like, whether it's cooking, anything, there's an audience on YouTube for it. Uh, YouTube is massive. So do what you love, do what you enjoy, record it, and then put it out there where your audience, your target audience is going to be for for me, it's been Facebook groups mostly. Uh, I don't use Reddit personally, but I mean, that's another option. Uh, if you know Reddit pretty well, then you can, you can do really well there as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, put, you gotta, you gotta advertise your videos. So when you post a video, uh, put it out there where your audience is going to find it. Um, and then on top of that, you got to find what you can do. Be yourself. Don't, don't try to make a persona. Because living up to your persona is always going to be a problem. Just be yourself. Enjoy what you do. And people who are like-minded, who enjoy the same things you do, will follow. So that's just that's just the gist of it. And also, be consistent. You got to be consistent, man. That's Consistency is everything on YouTube. Uh, if I take the weekends off like I have been, like my videos don't do as well. Just because YouTube doesn't doesn't push my videos as much so uh that's that's something to consider uh let's see alwyn uh i'm really impressed that you lost that much weight keep up the good work i appreciate that man uh it's it's just one of those things where you have to do it. You know what I mean? Like I've been overweight my entire life. I don't want to get into being in a, you know, a older person. I'm starting to get up there at age. So I don't want to be forced to have all kinds of health problems and stuff that my family is, is at risk for. Um, so, you know, I'm just trying to stay healthy and get happy and have a good time. You know, I want to live as long as I can. What is my future goal long term uh, for the channel or for life in general or for the channel? My my goal has always been to do this for a living. And, and you know, I've been able to do that. 
Um, from here, I would like to diversify the channel, uh, get some people watching other things. Uh, and I have been pretty successful at getting people to watch some other things recently, so that's good. Um, so, yeah, finding other games other than just World of Warships Legends that bring in the kind of audience that World of Warships Legends has been able to for my channel is huge. Uh, that's going to go a long ways to making sure that I can keep doing this for a long time. Um, but, yeah, that's that's the goal for now. I've already accomplished the, the doing it for a living which is something I never thought I would ever be able to say. But uh, I'm very fortunate. Can get a Balti vid? Uh, probably. Uh, I do love the Balti. I haven't played it in a little while. But probably. I should play Hell Let Loose. I've seen Mike play that a little bit on PC. I've seen a little bit of it. Uh, kind of has that battlefield kind of feel, and I don't know if that would be something that I'd enjoy. Spartan could probably have some vlog success. A little bit. Um, I've tested it a little bit with the like walking with Spartans and stuff like that, and, and we've done some hiking videos through like Old Man's Cave recently with uh, Stormcat. Um, so we, we've, had, we've had quite a bit of fun. Uh, all of the stuff with going to the ships and stuff. If I could figure out a way to like do like to travel around and get paid well, like to actually pay for those trips, I would do it. I would do that in a heartbeat because I love that stuff, man. Being able to like that that trip to New Jersey and uh, the the tour with Ryan Samansky, like that was amazing. That was amazing. Firing the five inch gun at the end, like best trip ever. That's definitely my number one vacation I've ever had. Uh, didn't feel like work. I was recording the entire thing for you guys. Ended up making, what, an eight-part series out of it. Like, it, was, it was fun, man. I enjoyed it. Iowa or Vladivostok both look like beasts, but only I can only afford one. Okay, Vladdy is very, very strong when bowing. Um, does tend to suffer accuracy problems at, at range. So it depends on your play style. If you like up close and personal brawling, the Vladdy is an absolute monster. Um, Iowa can kind of do everything. It can brawl. It's kind of terrible turning. Uh, suffers some of the same issues that the Vladdy does. If you go broadside, bad things happen. The downside for me of the Vladdy is the limited damage controls. Um, it's very tanky. But if, if you're under the siege of lots of fire starters, you're in trouble. And I go, I, that goes for any battleship, but specifically for those Russians that have the limited damage cons. But uh, Vladi is a very, very tanky ship and can be a lot of fun, especially in small maps. So, uh, I mean, it's kind of a, it's kind of a good, good little question. Enlisted is really fun. It's unlike any other FPS I've ever played. Yeah, I've seen a little bit of that as well. It does look like fun. It's kind of like uh, going to those reenactments that you see, except it's a video game. So I, I kind of like that. Uh, I like the walking with Spartan vids. I do too, man. I, I enjoy just walking in general. But uh, unfortunately, me living in the middle of town now, it's a lot more difficult to, to do those walks. Can't really do it. And it's also wintertime. And you know what that's like up there in Minnesota. So... Not a whole lot of walking going. I got my treadmill. So uh, that's what I've been doing. Question. What is easier to get credits from Legendary or dollars from YouTube? <laughs> Definitely credits on Legendary. I, I can earn millions of credits pretty quickly on Legendary or in uh, Legendary. Or World of Ship World of Warships. Like, good Lord. I am stumbling all over my words. World of Warships than I can in life. Definitely easier to get it on a game. Uh, XGN, Spartan, you and Peak need to try Hell Let Loose. I mean, again, if I can get guys to play like games together, I enjoy that a lot more. Um, I'm not very good at those like uh, battlefield type games. Like the, the games where there's a lot of stuff going on, I tend to get overwhelmed and, and it's just not very good for me. Um, I like more 1v1 situations or slow games, kind of like the, uh, 
the games that we've been playing with World Warships and Railroads and stuff like that. I enjoy that a lot more. What do you think of Warspite B in ranked 1v1s? Warspite's going to be strong. Like, there's no doubt about it. Warspite, uh, Warspite B, Queen Elizabeth, all going to be really, really strong for their, their uh, Tier 5 rank. There's no doubt about it. They overmatch. They've got good accuracy. They've got fast reloads. They're, they're very, very strong. Decently tanky. So, seriously strong. Uh, do I still do intermittent fasting? Yes. Yes, I still do. I eat one meal a day. I get all of my calories in in one one meal. So, uh, yep, that's that's still me every day. Have I ever played War Thunder? Yes, I have, and I actually have some videos on the channel if you want to check those out. Should be a playlist called War Thunder. Uh, only played a little bit of it. Uh, it wasn't really my thing. Um, kind of got annoying. Uh, the controls were awful. The direct port from PC to console didn't work for me very well. Um, why am I sitting here with this on? Can we just be real for a moment? Like, just go away. I don't need you. I don't need you. I'm sitting here with this freaking headphones on. But, uh, yeah, so, anyway, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, War Spite. War Spite's going to be strong, man. No doubt about it. I still intend to do every one of the ranked 1v1s as a, um, as a American battleship, but that's just me. All right, Jason, go do some crane shit, my dude. Be careful out there. Stay warm. Uh, strategy games. I'm kind of new to strategy games, to be honest. Um, I, I like the concepts. Uh, I'm new to the strategy side of things. Um, I don't know if you guys notice, I tend to be more of a sledgehammer than strategy, but, uh, that's just me. Um, what up, Stephen Murray? How's it going? Christopher Hill up in the chat. Will you ever play World of Warships on PC? I've thought about it. I've actually thought about going in and raiding PC and seeing what happens. Uh, see if I'm better now, now that I actually understand the game a little better. Um, but haven't quite... Haven't quite decided if I actually want to do it or not. Do you think Vaulty can win 1v1 of Bismarck Spartan? Absolutely. Like, I'll take a Bismarck on any day in a in a Vaulty. I'll I'll do that. Now, obviously the secondaries have gotten a lot better since uh since the last time I went 1v1, but yeah, I can definitely do it. Uh yep, I'm still live, Vin. Just hanging out now. We, we finished the ranked battles, so we're, we're just chilling. Just kind of doing a little question and answer. How are you going to play the Ohio when you don't like to play the Georgia? It's not that I don't like the Georgia. I, like, I don't mind the Georgia. I've had a lot of fun in the Georgia. Um, but I don't know. It's just one of those things we'll have to test when it comes into the game. Uh, if, if Ohio ever shows up. Ever wanted to play Civ 6? Uh, I used to play some Civilizations back in the day, but, uh, it's been a long time since I played Civilization. Can't even remember which Civ, I want to say it was Civ 4 was the one that I played. But it's been a long time. Maybe it was earlier than that. I did play Sid Meier's Civilization on console. That was fun. What is the official language of Brazil? Uh... I'm not 100% sure. I'll be 100% with you. It's, I don't think it's Spanish. I think it's... Uh, I'll be honest. I don't know. I, I don't know. Portuguese. I'll go with that. Zarkoon seems to know. I'll go with, I'll go with Zark, Zark on this one. 
Spartan, would you like to see Wargaming add more battle cruiser ships to Warship Legends? Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, it depends. Depends on which tier they're at and what what they're how good they are and whatnot. Am I a donut guy? Not really. I'll be honest. Um, if I had to choose donuts, uh, custard donuts or like the cinnamon twists, those are those are kind of the ones that I would go for. Uh, I do like a custard donut once in a while, but but yeah, I'm not much of a donut guy. My my sweet of choice is ice cream. Like I love ice cream. It's it's my biggest my biggest thing. Hey, see there we go. I I was I was pretty certain it wasn't Spanish. But I had to, I, I wasn't sure, and I wasn't going to try to, like, say something. Good morning, Dustin. How's it going? What up, Strain? Welcome. What is the difference between Balti and Des Moines? Well, Balti is, like, the base model, and Des Moines has an autoloader, essentially. So, uh, Des Moines is basically a balti on steroids. And I think Des Moines actually gets a little bit of more hit points too uh, because it's higher tiered. So it'll have higher higher hit points. I think it has the same 27 millimeter armor. So you still get overmatched by the 16-inch uh, guns but have a much faster reload. Instead of a 9-second reload on the balti or uh, you would end up with like a 6-second reload or something like that, which for 203 millimeter guns are nasty. So keep that in mind. Also, I just realized something. I need to put our alerts up above face cam. Because the alerts are going off behind me. So there we go. Uh, ice, ice cream is the sixth food group for sure. What time is it in America, Noah? Right now, for me, on the East Coast, we are 7.38 a.m. So we're about five hours behind you guys in uh, the U.K. What up, Slater? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Glad you got to drop in. Uh, you got the World of Warships Legends Discord channel, uh, Discord server. They they have a group in there called Looking For. Uh, you also have plenty of people's YouTube channels that have uh, their own Discords, like Peak's got a Discord, Aaron's got a Discord, Zarkoon, I don't know if he does or not. I know uh, Gecko's got his own Discord, Gazi's got a Discord, Hive's got a Discord. Uh, pretty much everybody has their own Discord, and most of those people have, uh, you know, Looking For servers so if you're looking to div up with people uh, otherwise i mean checking out in chat like you can usually ask in chat on streams and stuff see if anybody's playing um i know a lot of people get together on there so yeah i'm gonna be going to sleep pretty soon guys i'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie A Des Moines build on PC with a two-second reload? That would be ridiculous. Sounds like it would be uh, wrong, but yeah, that would be ridiculous. But. Good night, China. Have a good night. Iowa or Kansas? I, I don't know. I would still I'd say Kansas. I stand by my, my statement that Kansas is the best tier 7 battleship currently in the game. Like, for real. Is this a new game mode? Pretty much. Uh, no. We finished the uh, 1v1 rank duels a while back. We just decided to get in and just do a little chit chat with you guys. Uh, you guys are awesome. I like to hang out with you guys. Don't get a chance to re-chat and hang out very often. Uh, Mr. Kraken, if there's a way they can make money off of things, they're going to do it eventually. So I wouldn't put it past them. But, uh, good night, Ray. 
All right, guys. Well, I think I am going to go ahead and end the stream here. You guys have been fantastic. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the duels. Uh, we had a pretty good run. Again, I know that we could have went with a Nassau or, or another ship that overmatches and probably won every match, but that wasn't the challenge that we set forth. Uh, we said that we were going to beat the, the cha or beat the ranked seasons with the American battleships, and that's what I'm going to set out to do. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.